hello once again today i am going to talk about uh, how to calculate iv uh, that is the reverse process and because so many people ask about this because broker is not providing greeks so how to calculate greeks i am starting the few videos which i am going to explain so how to calculate iv delta and uh, so on so today i am explaining about how to calculate iv if your broker is not providing it okay so first of all iv is a basically a iteration process to uh, deal with how to calculate uh, correctly so even there is some uh, error in uh, measurement still it is fine so few formula is uh, i am taking from the black scholar models okay so this formula i am going to use so first of all before we start i am just we want some variables so i am going to add some variables first so let's see how many variables we required so let's go one by one so so suppose i am calculating for the 16600 call which is 157 so what is the iv for this call or put we are going to discuss so let's see one by one so so first of all what is the variables i required so first one is you want to know what is the underline second one is a basically a strike k then dt that is also denoted by dt mm. Next one you need to calculate D1, D2. So standard division, whole, okay. So you need uh, risk free interest rate, and then price of the call. What is the call of the price? Next is the wall, definitely. So we are assuming what is the wall first. Then we are going to calculate d1 d2 and uh, also vega and then we are calculating call price basically it is a black scholar call price and then finally we will got our new one so this much calculation we required after this most of the function will be remain same for you want delta or something else so what is the underlying price so that is very clear about 16606 uh, so i am taking that price so 16606 uh, my strike price is also 16600 to expiry it is a uh, two days two divided by 365 okay so it's depend on the how much uh, you are counting holidays or not okay if you are counting holidays uh, suppose five six seven days before so you want saturday sunday included then i would you have to divide 365 otherwise you can count just uh, number of work days so it will be 365 will be uh, directed to uh, just 250 around so it's okay anyway you can go so that's why even you find this thing the iv numbers for the all the platform is showing differently okay so whatever you're using just use for the overall all the system same in same fashion okay don't mismatch the calculation so risk free interest rate i am taking one percent so 0 0.01 uh, let me zoom as well Oop. maybe it will not visible to you we calculated risk free dt now call price so call price is already there uh, so i'm just taking from the call price we got call price now volatility so it is a trial and error method which is uh, basically iteration method i have explained so i am you going to use iteration process so i am first of all taking a, a point, uh, 0.5 means uh, 50 percent uh, iv figure 
okay so 0 0.5 so you can take uh, any figure like 0.3 or right now volatility i so i am going with a little higher number okay so so now i have to calculate d1 d2 vega and c uh, call price of black scholar and new volatility then we will get so basically i am going to use these formulas okay so let's go one by one so basically d1 is 1 divided by sigma that is a basically volatility so sigma is basically a volatility so divided by this so we need parenthesis into square root of time that is then we need a log which is general log so ln underline price divided by k that is a strike plus risk free rate plus once again wall and power 2 divided by 2 and then once again so this way we get our d1 first of all okay so next one is the d2 that is a uh, basically d1 that th this is the formula i'm just using this one okay so d1 minus volatility into square root of time so we will get d2 as well next is vega so stock price into normal distribution so normal distribution but there is two type of distribution okay so one is uh, cumulative and one is populative so we generally use a false agreement for the p and cumulative it is a true okay so normal distribution of d1 but there is a some more uh, information is required so what is the standard deviation we are normally going to use mean reversing it is a by default to zero and basically one parameter and next is the false it is a false alg argument and next is square root of time so this way we calculated the vega value okay next is a black scholar model so what is the call of the black according to 0.5 volatility and uh, this we want to know so then we will correlate and then then we will go to final volatility okay so once again normal distribution so, but this time it is a cumulative so of d1 comma 0 comma 1 comma this time it is a true stock price minus normal distribution once again this time d2 true k strike price into minus risk free so minus r into time so this way we got call price okay <coughs> now next so calculating new volatility so basically it is a minus function so function value is basically the black square model minus 
given price into divided by vega plus vol vega plus vol so we will get the iv figure that is a 31 percent okay so this is one figure we got so now uh, this is approximation we got uh, this value okay so now we want iteration so we will finalize what is the exact value so we need to just uh, go once again in a loop and i am taking once again all the data is the same okay so everything is the same wait a second just i'm pasting only value so everything is the same now i'm just dragging so again once again i got the same new volatility and this way if i iterate then you will see in most of the time it is will be coming almost the same why because uh, it is almost the same and exact value that's why uh, if suppose i take uh, huge volatility like one percent initially so still it is showing the same or uh, not much variation but so many times what will happen when you take uh, some volatility for example in initially and then there is some variation and when you reverse back it will be come around once again correct value okay so even once or twice iteration is more than enough you can directly jump on the same strike and you can use it okay so same way if you want to calculate the for the all strikes so you just copied and paste the value strike will be uh, definitely it will be different so so strike is basically it is a for different for the all strikes dt is still remains same Uh, risk free is also remain same and also volatility so i calculated the thing uh, call price will be different for all the strikes so suppose i am using one iteration and how price will be look like how i will uh, distribution you can see here as well so this is the different price so now i just have to move up and down so i will get the ah uh, this iv shape okay so this is the actually volatility skew right now so if i insert chart you can see with the respect of With respect to strike, so wait a second. Just remove everything. So this is the IV figure for the all the strike. Okay, so I have selected wrong is strike basically. So now. When I plot, it will be showing like this one. So AO is my strike, okay. And uh, this is a, a wall skew currently present right now. So in middle it is a be, uh, mean one, and upside it is a smiley dip, and downside is huge skew. So this is way how we calculate actually IV, okay. So uh, for today I am explaining this much only. Uh, we will see in next video then we will calculate uh, same fashion the delta rest of the greeks also on the put side so right now i am explaining this much only okay we will see next video thank you